Uh, so for this final question, um, I got really excited when I read it because I am, I am so passionate about teaching and I am so excited um, about the future and what this holds and in having my own classroom, whether that's physically or online in the future. Um, I'm still so excited. Um, but so to describe my favorite class um, that I've taken at SOE is actually, um, I got the ESL endorsement. So this past summer, I had um, courses and training with ESL. And uh, my favorite class was actually a part of CESLA. Um, and so this is a summer program that usually takes place in person um, where School of Ed interns go to Scarlet Middle School in Ann Arbor and work with ESL students. Um, but the physical program got shut down, but we were able to do it virtually this year. And so I was paired up with a eighth grade middle school teacher and we had two 45 minute sessions where we taught sixth graders. And so twice a week I got to be a part of this program and the curriculum was actually based on um, kind of like the world right now, but looking at the injustice, protests, Black Lives Matter, um, the climate, climate movement, um, things like that. And so it's, it was incredible curriculum. And to work with these ESL students and to see their progress from day one, um, to the last day was, it just reminded me why I wanna be a teacher and why I wanna do this. And so being a part of this, I really got to be able to work on and observe, witness um, virtual learning. And this, this is gonna be a really important tool moving forward. Um, kind of how, how you engage, how you read students, um, how you work through curriculum is, all different when you go online. And so to be able to practice that, to be with a mentor teacher who was also practicing that, we were learning together, the kids were learning, we were all figuring out together. It was something really special and something that I will never forget. It's made me a better, it's made me a better teacher. And that type of skill, I hope to continue and I know it will continue. Um, this coming fall and winter semester with the School of Education, but virtual learning is going to be is going to be a huge a huge tool to have. And so that's like kind of the important new content that I am learning. Um, but I also think 2020 has brought um, has brought some new things to light, I guess you could say, and looking at the injustice that a lot of people are seeing, um, LGBTQ communities, um, Black communities, um, really minorities, and kind of raising them up. And I think this is super important. This has to be a part of our curriculum. It does. And if we want a equitable, just, fair, great world, we need to do this. And it starts with education. And so it starts with us and being able to communicate and create curriculum based on this is super important. And the School of Education has done an amazing job pushing their students to recognize in themselves their biases, um, <clears throat> their, the injustices that we see and we want to change. And how are we gonna change that? What can we do? What is our role in this? How do we, how do we as a teacher stand in front of a classroom and communicate this? How do we make our students work through this? How do we make our students recognize their own biases? How do we make them see the big picture? And so this has happened from the beginning in the School of Education, um, pushing and challenging ourselves to make us better and more sound educators for our future students, for our future classrooms. And this is so important. And this is gonna be needed everywhere we go in the future. And it's, I wanna be a high school social studies teacher, the social sciences, that's huge. But this can be in science, this can be in math. 2020 has brought to light so many things that we need now more than ever to really work on. Do we need to come together for this stuff? And it does start with education. Um, and so I'm looking forward to um, continuing to challenge myself and learn um, to be the best teacher I can be, um, especially with injustice and um, the climate of the world today. 
but I know the School of Education is going to prepare me for this. Um, so like always, thank you and go blue.